For 30 years, the Omaru families have fought for truth and justice for their loved ones, as have the McGurk families since December 1971. During that 30 year period, the Omaru families have had the publication of the report from the police ombudsman blocked on five different occasions. The most recent blockage was by the Chief Constable of the, of the PSNI using the pretext of introducing public interest immunity certificates and closed material proceedings to cover national security matters. What has national security got to do with the loyalist murder squads? Why is the establishment so resistive to release the relevant documentation for inquests or investigations? We already know from our prior disclosure that the RUC and MOD had a hand in the murders of our loved ones, from the handling of the weapons, the setting up of the massacre, or indeed the cover-up of both Ormer Road and McGurk's massacres. We now view the latest proposals from the British government as an attempt to try to conceal and wash their hands of their direct involvement in the murder of Irish citizens. The British government policy intent to introduce unconditional amnesty is absurd, immoral and in breach of their human rights obligations. It has been rejected domestically and internationally by all key stakeholders and human rights organisations. But most importantly of all, it has been rejected by we, the families whose loved ones were murdered by loyalist death squads, with the full knowledge of Britain's intelligence agencies. We are calling on everyone who respects human rights and the rule of law to send a strong message to the British government that there is no place for their draft legislation whose purpose is solely to protect the military, intelligence and political elites who drove their counterinsurgency strategy in Ireland in a bloody and vain attempt to subdue the Irish people. The British government tell us that their amnesty proposal will promote reconciliation. In contrast, it will have the opposite effect. It will hinder and undermine reconciliation, create further division and sow the seeds of further instability. Brandon Lewis recently referred to the cost of legal aid for legal ca or legacy cases. In reality, the truth costs nothing. It is the cover-ups and the establishment's determination to hide an attempt to obstruct from truth coming out that is the real cost.